reason TMZ is not reporting this, and I know TMZ has got sources in hospitals who give them information, whether it's legal or not. It's a stroke. It's a blood clot in an artery that cuts off the supply. That part of the brain is dead. Jamie Foxx's health is rumored to be getting worse. According to this TikTok posted by user at the Kyle Marissa, Jamie Foxx is allegedly not doing so well. So is it true? Or is it merely that of a blind item and a damaging rumor? Today, we're going to break down the latest news involving the star, according to an alleged recent blind item. But of course, before I spill anything, make sure first that you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more updates and videos like this. Now, let's dive in. According to the TikToker, a source allegedly stated that Fox can barely speak and has vision loss in one eye. Fox supposedly will not be able to return to his old physical health after an alleged updated diagnosis from medical experts. Fox allegedly will have to learn to live with impairment and disability. Fox apparently suffered a medical complication earlier this year, and it was rumored that he suffered a stroke, as noted here. There have not been a lot of updates surrounding Fox's true and current diagnosis, but other celebs have come forward to share their thoughts and prayers for Fox's hopeful, speedy recovery. The source from the TikTok video also asked people to stop contacting Fox's daughter for updates regarding her father. She is supposedly crying a lot and supposedly doesn't want to believe her father's health update. It is alleged that Fox will not fully recover, according to this source, and the supposed latest news surrounding the actor's health update. However, a news outlet recently reported that Jamie Foxx is defying odds and finding his feet again after this mysterious crisis. According to the report, the 55-year-old star has been undergoing intensive physiotherapy at a top physical rehabilitation center in Chicago and is learning to walk again. The facility, renowned for its expertise in treating injuries and conditions that impact mobility, specializes in helping individuals learn to walk again. Fox's presence at the clinic indicates that he has been affected in some way, although the exact details of his condition remain shrouded in secrecy. Okay, I'm feeling um, confused. I'm feeling lost. I don't know where to start. I don't know how to finish things. Like, now I need a different form of help. Despite the mystery surrounding Fox's health, sources assure fans that he is receiving the best possible care at the rehabilitation center. The facility has a focus on stroke, brain injury, and spinal cord injuries, indicating the severity of the challenges Fox is facing on his road to recovery. While the cause of his health condition still remains a secret, the report has revealed that Jamie is facing mobility issues. An insider revealed Jamie is receiving treatment at one of the top physical rehabilitation centers in the country. The source added, the clinic specializes in physical therapy programs to treat injuries or a physical condition that limits or prohibits the ability to walk or walk correctly. The source also explained that the clinic is specifically known to teach people how to walk again. The insider continued, Jamie would not be at this clinic if he was not impaired in some way as a result of whatever happened to him. But fans should rest assured, Jamie is in the best of care at this type of clinic. Last month, Fox's family was spotted visiting him during his hospitalization and recovery period. While the specifics of this condition have not been officially disclosed, veteran Hollywood journalist A.J. Benza claimed on Dr. Drew Pinsky's podcast that Fox experienced a blood clot in his brain, resulting in partial paralysis and blindness. Benza alleged that Fox was pressured into receiving a COVID-19 vaccine for the film production, although these claims have not been confirmed by Fox's spokesperson. Jamie had a blood clot in his brain after he got the shot. He did not want the shot, but the movie he was on, he was pressured to get it. Journalist and A.J. Benza recently claimed that Jamie Foxx has been paralyzed and turned partially blind. The journalist said that the actor had been diagnosed with a blood clot that led to him being partially blind and paralyzed. He also claimed that this was a side effect caused by the COVID-19 vaccine that Jamie took. Jamie had a blood clot in his brain after he got the shot. He did not want the shot, but the movie he was on, he was pressured to get it, A.J. Benza's source claimed. Jamie's friend Nick Cannon recently told fans that the actor will update the fans about his health when he is ready to. 
while his daughter's last update read that the actor was recuperating. The discussion around Fox's health crisis has raised controversy, with criticism aimed at Benza and Dr. Drew for promoting unfounded anti-vaccine conspiracy theories linking COVID-19 vaccines to strokes. It is important to note that these claims have not been substantiated by medical professionals or official sources. As Fox continues his rehabilitation journey, his fans eagerly await updates on his progress. The talented actor's resilience and commitment to regaining his mobility serve as an inspiration to many facing similar challenges. Fox, it was all baloney what they were reporting. He's playing pickleball. He's uh, responding on Instagram. No, he's not. People do that for you. It's all lies. However, is the COVID-19 vaccine really the cause of the actor's health deterioration? Reports of Jamie Foxx's hospitalization due to a medical complication in April raised concerns among his fans. And the main question was, is COVID vaccination really responsible for Jamie Foxx's health condition? Speculation intensified as rumors circulated on social media falsely asserting that Fox was on life support. These claims were debunked by fact-checking organization PolitiFact in May, highlighting the lack of evidence to support such assertions. More recently, claims emerged suggesting that Fox had been left paralyzed and blind from a blood clot in his brain due to receiving a COVID-19 mRNA vaccine. Gossip columnist A.J. Benza made these allegations on the podcast, Ask Dr. Drew, citing an unnamed source. These claims were then amplified by entertainment outlet OK Magazine and social media users, including COVID-19 vaccine skeptic Asim Mahotra. I had somebody in the room who let me know that Jamie had a blood clot in his brain after he got the shot. He did not want the shot, but the movie he was on he was pressured to get it. This movie he's doing with Cameron Diaz. It is essential to note that there is currently no evidence linking Fox's alleged health conditions to COVID-19 vaccines. Corinne Fox, Jamie Fox's daughter, shared a video on Instagram on May 9, 2023, featuring her father promoting Intel laptops. This indicates that he was actively involved in projects after his hospitalization. And I'm thinking, is that why he blew up on the set a week before this medical emergency happened? Is that why he fired three or four people because he just had had it with these mandates? I don't know. Furthermore, reputable sources such as Vanity Fair and The Guardian reported that Fox has been out of the hospital for weeks and was seen playing pickleball, demonstrating his recovery. Notably, Fox's family has not attributed his medical condition to COVID-19 vaccines. Additionally, it was announced on May 15, 2023, that Jamie Foxx and his daughter would be hosting a game show called We Are Family in 2024. Claims linking health problems experienced by celebrities to COVID-19 vaccines have become prevalent during the pandemic. However, it is important to rely on scientific evidence. While some COVID-19 vaccines using viral vector technology have shown a slightly increased risk of blood clots, mRNA vaccines, including those used in the United States, have not been associated with this side effect. Multiple studies have consistently shown that the risk of blood clotting disorders and other health problems is significantly higher after contracting COVID-19 than after vaccination. What I found out from the man in the room was that Give me a break. Misinformation surrounding Jamie Foxx's health, particularly regarding his alleged paralysis and blindness, as well as the connection to COVID-19 vaccines, is baseless and unsupported by evidence. It is crucial to rely on reputable sources and scientific research to make informed judgments about vaccines and health-related matters. Jamie Foxx was admitted to a hospital in Georgia on April 11, 2023 while he was in the midst of shooting his upcoming Netflix film in Atlanta. Fox's condition, which has not been named yet to the media, was severe enough for him to recognize its urgency, as news outlets claim 
He was neither transported by an emergency vehicle, nor was he on set when the incident happened. While the fans still wait for confirmation of his full recovery, sources claim that the doctors have been running tests constantly, trying to figure out the root cause of the complication. Although this does sound disheartening, sources close to the actor and his family claim that he is recovering quickly. Following Fox's sudden complication and immediate hospitalization, he is said to have received quick action and great care and is already recuperating steadily. In the meanwhile, Corinne Fox has asked for privacy while the family waits for the actor to get back on his feet. We wanted to let you know that my father, Jamie Fox, had a medical complication. The statement begins. Fortunately, with quick action and good care, he is now on the road to recovery. The sets of the film, on the other hand, had shut down after the sudden turn of events, but opened up again for the final scenes. A stand-in will serve as the replacement for Jamie Foxx, while the production expects to be wrapped up within the next few days. Jamie Foxx's regular filming hours are long and he still has eight shooting days to go, but it seems that those eight days are crucial for the film's development. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this.